Hello, my name's Andy and welcome to the garage. Welcome back. This is February's diecast purchases and donations. And as you can see, there's three bagfuls. It's been an excellent month. Two lots of car boot stuff and some excellent donations from Diecast Outlaws channel. That's Luke. Thank you, Luke. So I'm going to start with the purchases first and at the end we'll go through the donations. There's the first one, a lovely Verstappen Red Bull Racing. I think it's pullback, yeah. Got that a really good price. I don't often buy new, but that was such a good price. The guy just looked at me and said, a couple of quid, mate. So I couldn't turn that down at the car boot. So that is a brilliant one to start with. Then, got a nice um, pickup truck, recovery truck, Corgi. Don't know what it actually says there. I don't know if you can see that. Breakdown, just breakdown truck. Quite nice, obviously. Um, paint's not bad. Decals have gone a bit. Put that one over there. I think this is um, Matchbox Specials. Yeah, Ferrari 512BB. I've got a few of these. I haven't got one in blue and this is not in bad shape. And it'd be nice to actually do this one and redo all those decals. Lovely bit of engine work at the back. Glass looks really good. These rivets are always a pain on these. I'm doing two Mustangs at the moment for a DMC challenge any racing car in a couple of months time so that's a nice one Unimog Mercedes-Benz very tidy condition let's have a look at him Matchbox Super Kings K30 Unimog hopefully you can see that wheels are a bit axles bent at the back be a nice little one to do that Funnily enough, I did see one today at the car boot as well. There we are, British Airways, Boeing 747, Jumbo Jet. Probably Matchbox. Can't quite see from this angle. It says made in Thailand. Oh, there's the Matchbox sign there. Yeah, so it is Matchbox just there at the front, made in Thailand. All British Airways fleet were powered by um, Rolls-Royce RB211 engines. That would be a nice one to do. Later model, it's got long horns on the wing for more fuel efficiency, I think they work. Nice little roadster there. Um, Non-branded, made in China. But he's a nice little thing. You could just put some little split screens there and turn him into a racer. So nice one. Well, that looks like it's been left out in the plant pot for a while. It's very hard to see if there's anything underneath it. Could be Matchbox made in China, you can just see there. Mercedes. <coughs> Potential truck racer. Just a little monster truck there. Ford F-Series underneath, probably Chinese. Now, isn't that a beauty? Um, and it's got all its engine exhaust ports there in some form. K45 Marauder by Matchbox Speed Kings, 1973. K45 Marauder, made in England, 1973 Lesney Products, Matchbox Speed Kings. And he's like a Can-Am racer, isn't he? That is great. And it's all there, including the steering wheel lot. So that'd be lovely to do. Add a bit of colour to the collection. Porsche, Kramer. Nice little thing, Matchbox Specials again. Kramer Porsche CKS made in China 1989. 
They are lovely looking things those. They are lovely. Not very popular I don't think with die cast people though. Now that's a lovely truck. ERF Corgi I think. And he came with a couple of other bits. As in that circus top. Another circus top. Just move the camera out a bit. And the trailer. So now this is in really good condition. Not sure these legs here have been bent out a little bit. So they just need pulling out again. But um, isn't that a nice thing? Isn't that a nice thing to have? Now, there we go, bit of panning on the tripod there. Lovely condition, doesn't need restoring. And I've already traded this with my mate Kev from Kev Banger Racers for when he gets something <coughs> that does need restoring and I'd be a bit more interested in. Um, let's see if we can see who it is. There we are. E ERFKV, where my thumb is, Corgi there. So that is really nice. <coughs> if you can see that, the glass is excellent, the paint's really good, the decals are good, that is as good as new. Right, I'll move that out of the way and move the camera back to where it was. Right, here's the next thing. Little Coleman's mustard, Moggy Miner van. Missing a headlight, probably not a problem. Mug guards, fenders are intact. We're a bit chipped off that one. We could always um, mould a bit, or you could just take it off that side and just leave it with a normal bumper. See, um, doors open. Yes, doors open. There's some door cards in there. Steering wheel see that I think the rears do as well yeah to leave just a flat body there that is a nice thing quite chunky and heavy and the doors are really good they, they shut fine and that is hmm, can't quite make that out Seiko Seiko, you probably know better than me. And the great thing is when you do this, screw base, look, five screws. I'm going to look forward to doing that. It's not in bad shape, but it will be lovely to get the headlight fixed. Give it a new coat of paint, because that is quite, um, it's not enough to polish out a lot of those scratches. And um, get some new decals on it. But that's lovely, look at that. Lovely detailing on that. Non-branded. Next up, whoops, little shovel, majorette or majorette, depending on your pronunciation. And he's quite nice, isn't he? Up and down, sort of army colours. Here's another Matchbox Specials, Corgi Porsche 95. 956, Porsche 956, quite nice, getting a few of those, glass doesn't look too bad, it's got a crack down it, so it's not, we're not going to be able to get that back to perfect, but apart from that, it is quite nice, sort of a Le Mans type car, then we've got a Lamborghini Countach, I think, yeah, LP500, if you can see that there, Matchbox, that is nice, Straightforward little restoration and it's back into red there. A few more coming up. Another army type vehicle. Mercedes from the front. Glass is all good. And it's hard to see the distance I am from it. Right, I don't know if you can see the matchbox. 1978 Lesney. Axles look a bit bent. 
apart from that it's okay so a bit of an army thing going on there and not die cast but useful nonetheless little vice a couple of quid there coming towards the end I picked this guy up I don't know where I picked him up he was in my bag when I got home but he could be quite useful on something Little Eddie Stobart, Scania, not bad condition, Corgi Toys, nothing opens and that's going to my mate Kev. Zymex MiG-21 intact, now f yeah it looks okay, you need that point sticking out there at the end, I think that should be a bit more prominent but be splitting hairs. Underwing fuel tanks, it's quite nice. He's lost his undercarriage, but that's not a problem because I'd take that off anyway. So that could be a nice one to do. And that's the end of the first bag from the car boot. So we'll stop the video there and move some of those. I only got this lot this morning, Sunday the 25th. And there's a nice little shovel, all moving. Just chipped and play worn. Perhaps something missing off the back there. All the glass looks good. He's a nice one. I didn't pay that for him, but um, Matra Tractor Shovel Matchbox King Size K3, if you can see that there. It's quite nice. <coughs> All the wheels are on there, that's important, I've realised, when you get those types of things. I think that's a Chevrolet Camaro. Now, the axles look wrong on this. Corgi Supersonics Chevrolet Camaro. Glass is all quite good, obviously paint and decals have had it. It has got the same wheels front and back, so maybe they were really wide tyres. Who knows? I'll have to have a look at that. Doesn't want to roll either, so uh, maybe it was a pullback at one point. Then the first of several buses which I bought in a job lot at the car boot. This one's got crinkly paint, so I think he's been resprayed at some point. Obviously the wheels dug in there, he's, he's non-branded, nonetheless a nice little thing, London bus, route master. I did say there was a few in that lot, and here's um, the others were all dinky, the others were all dinky, made in England by Meccano, tyres are on a bit cracked, it's been over painted at some point. Front's okay, I've, I've noticed they're often broke off. So he's he's ready for restoration. Here's a similar one. Tires looks like they've been replaced at some point, those tires. He's been overpainted again, hand painted from the looks of it. And probably straight over the decals. But he's another dinky toys bus. Let's get those lined up so you can see them, because there are a few more if I can find them. There's the next one. It's got a split upper windscreen. Dinky toys again. Probably had new tyres at some point. I'm not sure if they're the right tyres. They all seem to have different tyres so far. You can see he's been overpainted because there's an old Dunlop sticker under there. Intact again at the front. So that's another one. And is another one. Split at the top again. Dinky Toys 290. Looks like he's been had some work done. He's probably been restored before, I'd say. Those uh those stickers I can tell by the touch of those. So he's quite nice. And I think they are the five buses I bought. I paid two quid each for the buses. And um, I think I got the non-branded one thrown in for nothing. 
because I know the guy now. I've been, been to him a few times. There we go, a bit of an army theme. Well, it's really quite tidy. The paint's excellent. It's got the guy in it. It's got the tracks on it. It's Matchbox Battle Kings. You can see that there. And that's a nice thing. And the good thing is from that, I could mould, because you often miss this guy and you're often obviously missing the tracks. So although that's not for restoration, it could be a good um, part source vehicle. Keeping the military theme going. Now I picked this up and um, it's plastic I'm afraid. It is plastic, it's nice and tidy though. So let's just uh, pull that to one side, we can put him on there. Now this was a nice little find. Moggy Miner convertible with luggage. Actually a nice cabin in there. The glass is good all round. Doors open to reveal a bit of corrosion there. Just like the real Miner. Nice door cards. VAP 205. Rear mug guards okay, lights okay, petrol cap, front is all okay, bonnet doesn't lift up, made in China. Now I've been getting a few of these non-branded and I've got um, a VW Beetle in progress at the moment coming out in the next few weeks. They are very good quality and seriously cheap as chips at the car boot quid two quid whatever and he's going to restore lovely he may have been over painted before that looks quite thick paint but, you know, that door's not quite shut right but you can see there's a lot of corrosion down there under the paint but he's a nice thing he's a nice thing so we'll shove him in the background there another shovel just like the other one Except he's got the missing part, not an exhaust, tyre on the top. I got him in a job lot with this one at the same time. This one's a bit more worn, but the glass is good. It's got the missing part. It is quite nice. That would restore very nicely. So I'll put him there, that, that might go for trade, I don't know. But it is nice. Oh, another bus. Another Dinky Toys bus. Again, seen a better life. It's probably got the original tyres, this one. It's been overpainted at some point. Um, maybe I should do all the buses together. Because that's five Dinky Toy buses bought this morning. Then a little Rolls Royce. I think these were free for a pound and I, I didn't really want this but I took them anyway. Max Box International Rolls Royce Silver Cloud made in Macau. Quite a tidy little thing. Wedding car, this one, in white. Oh, I've been looking for one of these for a while. The Tyrrell six wheeler. And more importantly, he's totally intact. I'm not sure what that is. Missing the um, A-frame behind the driver there. But the rest of him's there. And I thought he was corgi or something. It's a bit worn on there. Elf Tyrrell Project 34. He doesn't say who he is. But I've been looking for one of those to do. And he's just missing that bit of A-frame. I've got quite a few F1 cars that may be able to supply that pattern part. Who knows. Then a nice little truck. Let's just move some of these out of the way so we can get these into view. Nice little truck. Is this a Scammel contractor? I don't know. Let's have a look. It's upside down there. There we go. Matchbox King Size K16 Dodge Tractor made by Lesney. 
and a K16 trailer. Now I bought him because he was intact. The door's there, it's all good. It's got all the wheels. Apart from one, these are quite common, so they're not going to be hard to find. And that's going to be a lovely thing to do. Maybe the cab's been overpainted at some time, I don't know. Let's just push him to the side. Right, now he came with this trailer. That trailer doesn't belong on him. I'm doing a Peterbilt truck at the moment. This trailer is a Peterbilt trailer for me. It's Matchbox Super Kings. He's quite nice. Um, I don't know my trucks that well, but I think a Volvo. Find out in a second if we look underneath. Corgi. Made in Great Britain. Doesn't say, but I think he is a Volvo. Nice little headlight horn stack sort of going on there. So that's quite nice. And we've got a few spalls left now. This was a lovely buy. It is a Corgi Toys Ford Thames. I can't read that, I'm not sure what it is, I'm not airborne caravan. But the thing is, badly play worn and chipped. He's got the top roof, the glass all looks good all around. The tyres have gone, he's, he's number 420 and these just lovely, the doors are there. The interior's all there, let's just get a light on that, see if you can have a look. There you go, the interior's there, and isn't that a beautiful thing? Now I wouldn't have bought him if the doors were missing, to be quite honest, because um, can't be doing with faffing about sourcing parts some days. But he's going in early in the to-do list, I think. And that's the purchases finished, let's just move up. And just give you a view of that. Let's sum over the other side. Look, so that's been quite. Oh, haven't shown you these two yet. I picked out Volkswagen, very good condition. Suspension feels fine. I did two of these a while ago. This one's quite good. He's not got the decals on. They're two different decals. They're the two I did. I'm wondering if he's been overpainted. Um, it looks like the original, looks like the original rivet on this Volkswagen. So not quite sure. So a nice Volkswagen Dragon, and another Volkswagen. Now I can't resist a Volkswagen. Real toy, made in China, VW Classic Beetle. But. Um, Maybe next year, not this year, because I've already done two. I'm on my third Volkswagen already, but maybe he'll get done into some. I think next year I'll stay as he is along with him. So let's put those on the roof. And uh, that is the purchases for the month. Now we come on to the donations. And as I said, Luke at Diecast Outlaw has sent me quite a few. So I'll just get them out of the bag and we'll go through them. The classic Foden Hoveringham truck. Importantly, he's got the flipper back. Oop, bit of damage at the rear, nothing major. He's quite nice, isn't he? He's all there. Just a little bit of damage and it's at at the pin from the looks of it yeah the pin snapped just there look but that's a nice little restoration to do nice little bus double decker back in the day lesney try and get it so you can see that bea coach by lesney now I've got another BEA coach to do and that's a dinky so 
maybe I could do them together. Rolls Royce, is it Silver Spirit? Silver Shadow, Rolls Royce. Matchbox Series, number 24 there. Boot comes up, nothing in the boot comes up, nothing in the boot. Glass all looks good. He's a tidy one, ready for restoration. Then some sort of funny car dragster. Matchbox series number 12. Road dragster, made in England, 1979. Super fast. That's quite nice. He's not in bad condition, actually. A bit chipped on the edges, that's all. Glass is good. Engine all looks to be there. So, funny car to do. Here's another one, E-Type Jaguar, Lesney, glass is cracked. Now, I did do one of these as a double with a Husky one from some two um, E-Types I'd seen at Laguna Seca in California. And they're, they're quite nice to do, but that glass is just a bit worrying on him. Let's see what else we've got. Little Morris 1100, I think. Certainly play one. There's a dog looking out the back there. There's a driver in there. Yeah, he's got a bit of corrosion. Let's see by Lesney. See if you can see that there. MG 1100, number 64. He'd be nice to do. Sort of thing Laszlo would do at Laszlo Collectibles. You should watch his channel. He does a lot of these smalls and he does them really, really well. And thank you, Luke, for this. The classic Bond. Not sure if it all works or not. Things seem to be a bit jammed on it. Oh, out come the guns. Corgi Toys, Aston Martin DB5, James Bond. Now I've got quite a few of these and I think with the addition of this one I should be able to make one or two good ones. So thank you for that loop, that is really pleasing to have. Then we have a little tanker, BP, on a Bedford truck, tilt cab, quite nice, engine in there, original colours, quite play worn. Petrol tanker made in England by Lesney. Number 25 in the series. So that's a nice little thing to have. we we'll keep going. Another DB5. Slightly the worse for wear. Now if you watch Martin Dare's Dinky Toys restorations... He advises you don't try these as your first model. They can be difficult. I've been doing it a year now and I'm still apprehensive about doing these. But I've got about four or five in this state. So if I take them apart, I can have a good practice before I perhaps have a go at a better one. Because that one's he's got a cracked screen at the back. Obviously he's lost the roof. I've got a spare roof anyway. Little guy's gone. No tires. But good practice vehicle. I think this might be another Aston. No, Ferrari Berlinetta number 75. Really nice looking. Glass is good. Don't like the tow bars obviously on these, but the wheels are nice. So that would be a nice thing to do. And I do like this. I do love a hot rod. Looks like it's based on a Ford Hot Wheels. Now, I've not done a Hot Wheels, but I might do this one. Because I did have a Ford Hot Rod. A 1953 55 Pop I had with a 5.7 Chevy engine in. And you may have seen it on TV. It ended up in a Wheeler Dealer show. It was that red Ford Pop. I'd just like to add it was drivable when I sold it. It wasn't when Mike Brewer drove it. It was always a sod to drive though. A lot of weight on those front wheels if you've got 5.7 Chevy in front of them. Coming towards the end now. Oh, 
there's a little guy for the James Bond. We'll just um, pop him in there because he's easier to see. Is that a little VW bug? That's quite nice, isn't it? Very nice, bit corroded at the back. Maybe being overpainted at some times. GP Beach Buggy Corgi Toys. And that's lovely. And then isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? A little VW camper made in England by Leslie Matchbox Series number 34. He's got the doors. Now this is the second one I've had of these. The other one I let go to Kev of Kev Bangers in a trade. This one won't be going. This one's going to get restored. He's had a bit of a knock maybe at the front. I don't know if they should be like that. There you are. I can see that now. But that's a lovely thing. But the highlight of the show is coming up in a second. And I'm going to have to go in the house to get it. Because it was not staying in the garage. So I'll be back in a second. And here is the star of this month. Donated by Luke at Diecast Outlaw Channel. He restored this on his channel and what a superb restoration. If I just take that round, lift it up. Some models of yesterday, model of yesteryear. Chevelle SS. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colour and the quality of the paint. I don't think you can see it, but there is a bit of sparkle in that paint. Maybe on the roof you can see that, but that is absolutely superb. That will grace any cabinet in the world. And just to show you how good that paintwork is, I've just painted a beetle and it's one of my best paint jobs. And I'm gonna show that next to this when I've adjusted the camera. And I can show you that mine is good. It's my best one so far paint job wise probably but it is nowhere near as good as this. So let's just um, adjust the camera. Just go up a bit. Because mine is still on the stand. It might still be a bit damp. And just to show the quality of that next to mine, the finish is absolutely superb. Now Luke does use an airbrush on Diecast Outlaw. It shows you what quality you can get. I've used a rattle can there and a good quality paint and I think that's quite good. So it just goes to show if you think you want the best, you probably have to buy an airbrush. Otherwise, you're going to have to settle for very good, not excellent. So thank you, Luke, for that. It's the star of this month's purchases and donations. I love an American muscle car anyway. And that will be going straight back in the house, straight back into the cabinet where it's been since it arrived. And thank you for watching everyone this month. It's been a pleasure to have you on board. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of February. We're at 490, hovering around there. So please subscribe. There's been some beautiful models in this month's purchases and donations. And some of them will get done this year. I promise. So once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again in another video shortly. Bye for now.